Bigger threat than Apple OS is Google Android. Android's being given away everywhere. It's on mobile devices, all kinds of devices everywhere. There's, there's literally hundreds of thousands of developers that are writing for Android right now. Uh, in fact, we just had an interesting, Alex brought up a great point about Lenovo. There are, are uh, 600 developers at Lenovo working on Android, Android apps and Android platforms, which is, I think, probably more than it's working on iPhone and Apple. Right. So there are companies throwing resources to create various apps and add-ons to Android, and that is a huge threat to us. Where will the next billion users of the internet, the next billion connected users come from? They will not come from PC land. They will not be on PCs. And most of them will be in Asia, most of them will be in emerging markets, and so we have to really worry about the story. Our strategy on this side of the ball game is a pincer strategy, very much like the airline story we heard in Australia. We have Windows OS, it is still a, very, a pretty stable business right now, but we're gonna lose it if we don't do something radical. So, our concept, a free cloud-based OS. There's a company out there called Jolly Cloud that's one example of a free cloud-based OS right now. It exists right now, we can either buy or build whatever we wanna do. It's a cloud-based operating system, there's nothing local to it. Everything's in the cloud, it's connected to the cloud. It is free, however, there's a key that you can pay for that unlocks the enterprise connectivity and the office connectivity of our OS, which means that only we can do that. Google has no install base of people who use Office. We can do that because we have Windows and we have Office. So we can use our leverage of owning Office and a 10 plus billion dollar business there to yes, offer a free cloud-based OS. Who do we offer to? Every maker in Asia, China, Taiwan. We offer them so that we enable them to make not a similar tablet to the iPad, but one that actually has security. Because people are worried now, they're now realizing that their iPhone and iPad have no security. If someone um, sniffs your particular uh, iPad or iPhone, they can get all your data. We're gonna have a better iPad, not because we're gonna make one ourselves. We killed our tablet initiative. We're not gonna make one ourselves. We're gonna enable 3,000 Chinese makers to make one using our free cloud-based OS. And we're gonna regain the trust of developers. We're gonna make it hip to, once again, write on Microsoft. The second part of our strategy is on the hardware side. And here again, Apple looks very dominant right now, and PCs look like they're in trouble. But we're gonna leverage China and also take our free cloud-based OS from the tablet where we're now gonna become dominant because it's really cool, and we're gonna move downward then to the mobile devices. Our Windows mobile strategy is broken. We have to acknowledge it. We're down to under 10% market share. We must jettison it. We must get rid of it. And so we have to just cannibalize ourselves, get rid of those revenues, and go down to mobile device. So in summary, we're going after the next billion internet users. These will be a very different kind than the first billion internet users. We're good using a pincer strategy. We're going after Android with the developer community back on our side. From a culture point of view, and that's the one of the main things, we're going to rework the culture by having our teams separated out of Redmond, put them in Brooklyn, New York, to Shanghai, to, to Xi'an, and put them in small teams where they will only communicate with us once or twice a year and make them very <laughs> entrepreneurial. <laughs> and in terms of purchasing companies, we have a list of companies to buy, first and foremost, probably by Adobe, <coughs> to have the Flash platform, an open gaming platform. A lot of stuff we can do, cannibalize ourselves, but go with something that actually is gonna be the key to opening up this market and making tablets and mobile real computing devices. Thank you.